Hello, my name is Ricky Whelan and I'm a projects officer with Birdwatch Ireland. Today I want to tell you a little bit about Birdsong, why they sing, when they sing and what it's all about. I hope you'll enjoy the video. No, all birds do not sing, but there is a large group of birds in the world known as the pastorines, or in simple terms, the songbirds. It's them I want to tell you all about today, and let's listen to our first one now, the blackbird, which is a very common species in Ireland. In the bird world, it's the male bird's job to sing. There are a few exceptions to that rule, including the robin, which you'll be familiar with from your garden. Female robins also sing, which is unusual. Let's listen to the robin now. There are two main reasons that male birds sing. One is to attract a female mate, so they can nest and rear young and ensure their populations well into the future. The second is to defend the territory, to tell other rival males that this is my area, don't come in here. The females in here are mine, the ground here is mine and all the insects and all the grub and the things to eat are all mine. So he's doing two things, he's singing out to, to female birds going, I'm over here, I'm over here, do you want to nest with me? And he's also saying, do not come in here to rival males because he's defending his own little territory. So he's enough food and enough resources to build a nest and provide for the chicks and his, his female uh, during the summer season. You can hear birds singing in all months of the year, but the real key time is in the spring through to the early summer. And that's because it's the breeding season for birds, the bird nesting season. That's when all the males are out there trying to attract the female and try to defend those territories. So they're out there in that period of time. And that is the best time to listen for bird song. Birds are best heard singing at dawn and at dusk. This is because it's the two quietest periods of the day and they've just woken up. So they want to remind the rival males that may have landed overnight in the garden or wherever they're singing that they're there and this is their territory. And also they want to maybe let female birds know that have come into the area overnight that they're there. So it's really important to give it a burst of song first thing in the morning and last thing in the evening for those reasons. It's also very quiet. It's before the rest of the world wakes up, before people are going about their business, before cars are on the roads. So it's a good time to be heard. The wren is our second smallest breeding bird in Ireland. They're found nearly everywhere, through every garden all over the place in Ireland. They really, for a very small bird, they have a really loud voice. Check out their song here. Some bird song may be considered more complex because it's got a number of notes and phrases included in it. Take, for example, the song thrush, which is a celebrated songster. It really has a beautiful song. Listen to it now. Compare the multiple notes of the song thrush to the more simple, repetitive song of the great hit. It repeats a phrase, teacher, 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 teacher. It's a really easy one to remember. Baby birds have to learn their song. They learn it from their fathers and males of their own kind. This process even starts when they're in the egg, which is just truly amazing. Chaffinch is a good example of that. Another thing we see within nature and birds is mimicry. It's when a bird copies another species song and that can really increase their repertoire of songs to impress females or show rival males that they're really, really healthy and fit and able to remember lots and lots of songs. That can be important. Starlings do that quite well and I'm going to play you a clip now. Yes is the answer. Birds who migrate to Ireland to nest here for the summer, they also need to sing like the males of other species. So take for example the chiff chaff, the black cap, the cuckoo. They all need to sing uh, to attract the female and to defend the territory of their own. 
Um, so I've got two uh, migrant species that I want to play for you. Both of them say their own name when they sing. So that's the Chif Chaff. He repeats his name, Chif Chaff, Chif Chaff, Chif Chaff. You'll hear it now. And also the Cuckoo. So they're really easy ones to recognize and I hope you learn them after this. So I hope you enjoyed this short video about bird song. If you like birds and you want to find out more about birds, do check out Birdwatch Ireland's website at birdwatchireland.ie. And if you want to support our work, nag your parents and tell them you want to join Birdwatch Ireland. So do that too. Uh, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.